Delhi, Hindustani pronunciation, Delhi, Delhi, officially the National Capital Territory of Delhi NCT, is a city and a union territory of India containing New Delhi, the capital of India. It is bordered by Haryana on three sides and by Uttar Pradesh to the east. The NCT covers an area of 1,484 square kilometres 573 square miles. According to the 2011 census, Delhi's city proper population was over 11 million, the second highest in India after Mumbai, while the whole NCT's population was about 16.8 million. Delhi's urban area is now considered to extend beyond the NCT boundaries and include the neighbouring satellite cities of Faridabad, Gurgaon, Ghaziabad and Noida in an area now called Central National Capital Region and had an estimated 2016 population of over 26 million people, making it the world's second largest urban area according to United Nations. As of 2016, recent estimates of the metro economy of its urban area have ranked Delhi either the most or second most productive metro area of India. Delhi is the second wealthiest city in India after Mumbai, with a total private wealth of $450 billion and is home to 18 billionaires and 23,000 millionaires. Delhi has been continuously inhabited since the 6th century BC. Through most of its history, Delhi has served as a capital of various kingdoms and empires. It has been captured, ransacked and rebuilt several times, particularly during the medieval period, and modern Delhi is a cluster of a number of cities spread across the metropolitan region. A union territory, the political administration of the NCT of Delhi today more closely resembles that of a state of India, with its own legislature, high court and an executive council of ministers headed by a chief minister. New Delhi is jointly administered by the Federal Government of India and the Local Government of Delhi, and serves as the capital of the nation as well as the NCT of Delhi. Delhi hosted the first and ninth Asian Games in 1951 and 1982, respectively, 1983 NAM Summit, 2010 Men's Hockey World Cup, 2010 Commonwealth Games, 2012 BRICS Summit and was one of the major host cities of the 2011 Cricket World Cup. Delhi is also the center of the National Capital Region NCR, which is a unique interstate regional planning area created by the National Capital Region Planning Board Act of 1985. Topic: <laughs> Toponymy. There are a number of myths and legends associated with the origin of the name Delhi. One of them is derived from Dilu or Dilu, a king who built a city at this location in 50 BC and named it after himself. Another legend holds that the name of the city is based on the Hindi, Prakrit word Delhi loose, and that it was used by the Tomaras to refer to the city because the iron pillar of Delhi had a weak foundation and had to be moved. The coins in circulation in the region under the Tomaras were called Deliwal. According to the Bhavishya Purana, King Prithiviraja of Indraprastha built a new fort in the modern-day Purana Kila area for the convenience of all four castes in his kingdom. He ordered the construction of a gateway to the fort and later named the Fort Dahali. Some historians believe that the name is derived from Dili, a corruption of the Hindustani words Delis or Dahali, both terms meaning threshold or gateway, and symbolic of the city as a gateway to the Gangetic Plain. Another theory suggests that the city's original name was Dilika. The people of Delhi are referred to as Delhiites or Dilawalas. The city is referenced in various idioms of the northern Indo-Aryan languages. Examples include Abhi Dili Dor Hai, Abhi Dili Dura Hai, or its Persian version, Hanuz Delhi Dur Ast. Nuz Delhi Dur Ast literally meaning Delhi is still far away, which is generically said about a task or journey still far from completion. Dili Dilwalan Ka Sher or Dili Dilwalan Ki meaning Delhi belongs to the large hearted, daring. Aas Paas Bars, Dili Pani Tars, literally meaning it pours all around, while Delhi lies parched. An allusion to the sometimes semi arid climate of Delhi, it idiomatically refers to situations of deprivation when one is surrounded by plenty. History Ancient and early medieval periods The area around Delhi was probably inhabited before the second millennium BCE and there is evidence of continuous inhabitation since at least the 6th century BCE. 
The city is believed to be the site of Indraprastha, the legendary capital of the Pandavas in the Indian epic Mahabharata. According to the Mahabharata, this land was initially a huge mass of forests called Khandavaprastha which was burnt down to build the city of Indraprastha. The earliest architectural relics date back to the Maurya period c. 300 BCE. In 1966, an inscription of the Mauryan Emperor Ashoka (273–235 BCE) was discovered near Srinivaspuri. Remains of eight major cities have been discovered in Delhi. The first five cities were in the southern part of present-day Delhi. King Anang Paul of the Tamara dynasty founded the city of Lal Khat in AD 736. Prithviraj Chauhan conquered Lal Khat in 1178 and renamed it Kila Rai Pithora. <laughs> Late medieval period The king Prithviraj Chauhan was defeated in 1192 by Muhammad Ghori, a Muslim invader from Afghanistan, who made a concerted effort to conquer northern India. By 1200, native Hindu resistance had begun to crumble. The dominance of foreign Turkic Muslim dynasties in North India was to last for the next five centuries. The slave general of Ghori, Qutbud Din Abak, was given the responsibility of governing the conquered territories of India, and then Ghori returned to his capital, Ghor. He died in 1206 AD. He had no heirs, and so his generals declared themselves independent in different parts of his empire. Qutbud Din assumed control of Ghori's Indian possessions. He laid the foundation of the Delhi Sultanate and the Mamluk dynasty. He began construction of the Qutb Minar and Quwad al-Islam Might of Islam Mosque, the earliest extant mosque in India. It was his successor, Iltutmish (1211–36), who consolidated the Turkic conquest of northern India. Razia Sultan, daughter of Iltutmish, succeeded him as the Sultan of Delhi. She is the first and only woman to rule over Delhi. For the next 300 years, Delhi was ruled by a succession of Turkic and an Afghan, Lodi dynasty. They built several forts and townships that are part of the seven cities of Delhi. Delhi was a major center of Sufism during this period. The Mamluk Sultanate Delhi was overthrown in 1290 by Jalal ud Din Firuz Khalji 1290-1320. Under the second Khalji ruler, Allah ud Din Khalji, the Delhi Sultanate extended its control south of the Narmada River in the Deccan. The Delhi Sultanate reached its greatest extent during the reign of Muhammad bin Tuluk In an attempt to bring the whole of the Deccan under control, he moved his capital to Dalatabad, Maharashtra in central India. However, by moving away from Delhi he lost control of the north and was forced to return to Delhi to restore order. The southern provinces then broke away. In the years following the reign of Firaz Shah Tughlaq (1351–1388), the Delhi Sultanate rapidly began to lose its hold over its northern provinces. Delhi was captured and sacked by Timur in 1398, who massacred 100,000 captives. Delhi's decline continued under the Sayyid dynasty (1414–1451) until the Sultanate was reduced to Delhi and its hinterland. Under the Afghan Lodi dynasty (1451–1526), the Delhi Sultanate recovered control of the Punjab and the Gangetic Plain to once again achieve domination over northern India. However, the recovery was short-lived, and the Sultanate was destroyed in 1526 by Babur, founder of the Mughal dynasty. Topic: <laughs> Early Modern Period. Babur was a descendant of Genghis Khan and Timur, from the Fergana Valley in modern-day Uzbekistan. In 1526, he invaded India, defeated the last Lodi Sultan in the First Battle of Panipat and founded the Mughal Empire that ruled from Delhi and Agra. The Mughal dynasty ruled Delhi for more than three centuries, with a 16-year hiatus during the reigns of Sher Shah Suri and Hemu from 1540 to 1556. In 1553, the Hindu king Hemu acceded to the throne of Delhi by defeating forces of Mughal Emperor Humayun at Agra and Delhi. However, the Mughals re-established their rule after Akbar's army defeated Hemu during the Second Battle of Panipat in 1556. Shah Jahan built the seventh city of Delhi that bears his name Shah Jahanabad, which served as the capital of the Mughal Empire from 1638 and is today known as the Old City or Old Delhi. 
After the death of Aurangzeb in 1707, the Mughal Empire's influence declined rapidly as the Hindu Maratha Empire from Deccan Plateau rose to prominence. In 1737, Maratha forces sacked Delhi following their victory against the Mughals in the First Battle of Delhi. In 1739, the Mughal Empire lost the huge Battle of Karnal in less than three hours against the numerically outnumbered but militarily superior Persian army led by Nader Shah of Persia. After his invasion, he completely sacked and looted Delhi, carrying away immense wealth including the Peacock Throne, the Darya i Noor, and Ko i Noor. The Mughals, severely further weakened, could never overcome this crushing defeat and humiliation, which also left the way open for more invaders to come, including eventually the British. Nader eventually agreed to leave the city and India after forcing the Mughal Emperor Muhammad Shah I to beg him for mercy and granting him the keys of the city and the royal treasury. A treaty signed in 1752 made Marathas the protectors of the Mughal throne in Delhi. In 1757, the Afghan ruler, Ahmad Shah Durrani, sacked Delhi. He returned to Afghanistan leaving a Mughal puppet ruler in nominal control. The Marathas again occupied Delhi in 1758, and were in control until their defeat in 1761 at the Third Battle of Panipat when the city was captured again by Ahmad Shah. However, in 1771, the Marathas established a protectorate over Delhi when the Maratha ruler, Mahaji Shind, recaptured Delhi and the Mughal Emperor Shah Alam II was installed as a puppet ruler in 1772. In 1783, Sikhs under Bhagal Singh captured Delhi and Red Fort but due to the treaty signed, Sikhs withdrew from Red Fort and agreed to restore Shah Alam II as the emperor. Colonial period In 1803, during the Second Anglo-Maratha War, the forces of British East India Company defeated the Maratha forces in the Battle of Delhi. During the Indian Rebellion of 1857, Delhi fell to the forces of East India Company after a bloody fight known as the Siege of Delhi. The city came under the direct control of the British government in 1858. It was made a district province of the Punjab. In 1911, it was announced that the capital of British-held territories in India was to be transferred from Calcutta to Delhi. The name, New Delhi, was given in 1927, and the new capital was inaugurated on 13 February 1931. New Delhi, also known as Luchans Delhi, was officially declared as the capital of the Union of India after the country gained independence on 15 August 1947. During the partition of India, thousands of Hindu and Sikh refugees, mainly from West Punjab fled to Delhi, while many Muslim residents of the city migrated to Pakistan. Migration to Delhi from the rest of India continues as of 2013, contributing more to the rise of Delhi's population than the birth rate, which is declining. <laughs> Post-independence The States Reorganization Act, 1956 and the States Reorganization Act, 1956 created the Union Territory of Delhi from the its predecessor the Chief Commissioner's Province of Delhi. The Constitution 69th Amendment Act, 1991 declared the Union Territory of Delhi to be formally known as the National Capital Territory of Delhi. The Act gave Delhi its own legislative assembly along civil lines, though with limited powers. In December 2001, the Parliament of India building in New Delhi was attacked by armed militants, killing six security personnel. India suspected Pakistan based militant groups were behind the attack, which caused a major diplomatic crisis between the two countries. There were further terrorist attacks in Delhi in October 2005 and September 2008, resulting in a total of 103 deaths. Ecology Delhi is located at 28.61 degrees north 77.23 degrees east, 28.61, 77.23, and lies in northern India. It borders the Indian states of Haryana on the north, west and south and Uttar Pradesh up to the east. Two prominent features of the geography of Delhi are the Yamuna flood plains and the Delhi Ridge. The Yamuna River was the historical boundary between Punjab and up, and its flood plains provide fertile alluvial soil suitable for agriculture but are prone to recurrent floods. The Yamuna, a sacred river in Hinduism, is the only major river flowing through Delhi. 
The Hindon River separates Ghaziabad from the eastern part of Delhi. The Delhi Ridge originates from the Aravalli Range in the south and encircles the west, northeast and northwest parts of the city. It reaches a height of 318 meters, 1043 feet, and is a dominant feature of the region. The national capital territory of Delhi covers an area of 1484 square kilometers, 573 square miles, of which 783 square kilometers, 302 square miles is designated rural and 700 square kilometers, 270 square miles urban, therefore making it the largest city in terms of area in the country. It has a length of 51.9 kilometers, 32 miles, and a width of 48.48 kilometers, 30 miles. Delhi is included in India's seismic zone IV, indicating its vulnerability to major earthquakes. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Climate. Delhi features an atypical version of the humid subtropical climate bordering a hot semi-arid climate The warm season lasts from 21 March to 15 June with an average daily high temperature above 39 degrees Celsius the hottest day of the year is the 22nd of May, with an average high of 40 degrees Celsius (104 degrees Fahrenheit) and low of 28 degrees Celsius (82 degrees Fahrenheit). The cold season lasts from the 26th of November to the 9th of February, with an average daily high temperature below 20 degrees Celsius (68 degrees Fahrenheit). The coldest day of the year is the 4th of January with an average low of 2 degrees Celsius 36 degrees Fahrenheit and high of 14 degrees Celsius 57 degrees Fahrenheit. In early March the wind direction changes from northwesterly to southwesterly. From April to October the weather is hot. The monsoon arrives at the end of June along with an increase in humidity. The brief, mild winter starts in late November, peaks in January and heavy fog often occurs. Temperatures in Delhi usually range from 2 to 47 degrees Celsius 35.6 to 116.6 degrees Fahrenheit, with the lowest and highest temperatures ever recorded being minus 2.2 and 48.4 degrees Celsius 28.0 and 119.1 degrees Fahrenheit, respectively. The annual mean temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Monthly mean temperatures range from 13 to 32 degrees Celsius, 55 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The highest temperature recorded in July was 45 degrees Celsius, 113 degrees Fahrenheit in 1931. The average annual rainfall is approximately 886 mm, 34.9 in, most of which falls during the monsoon in July and August. The average date of the advent of monsoon winds in Delhi is the 29th of June. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Air pollution. According to the World Health Organization (WHO), Delhi was the most polluted city in the world in 2014. In 2016, WHO downgraded Delhi to 11th worst in the Urban Air Quality Database. According to one estimate, air pollution causes the death of about 10,500 people in Delhi every year. Air quality index of Delhi is generally moderate 101 to 200 level between January to September, and then it drastically deteriorates to very poor 301 to 400, severe 401 to 500 or even hazardous 500 plus levels in three months between October to December, due to various factors including stubble burning, firecrackers burning during Diwali and cold weather. During 2013-14, peak levels of fine particulate matter PM in Delhi increased by about 44%, primarily due to high vehicular and industrial emissions, construction work and crop burning in adjoining states. It has the highest level of the airborne particulate matter, PM2.5 considered most harmful to health, with 153 micrograms. Rising air pollution level has significantly increased lung-related ailments especially asthma and lung cancer among Delhi's children and women. The dense smog in Delhi during winter season results in major air and rail traffic disruptions every year. According to Indian meteorologists, the average maximum temperature in Delhi during winters has declined notably since 1998 due to rising air pollution. Environmentalists have criticized the Delhi government for not doing enough to curb air pollution and to inform people about air quality issues. 
Most of Delhi's residents are unaware of alarming levels of air pollution in the city and the health risks associated with it. However, as of 2015, awareness, particularly among the foreign diplomatic community and high income Indians, was noticeably increasing. Since the mid 1990s, Delhi has undertaken some measures to curb air pollution. Delhi has the third highest quantity of trees among Indian cities and the Delhi Transport Corporation operates the world's largest fleet of environmentally friendly compressed natural gas buses. In 1996, the Centre for Science and Environment started a public interest litigation in the Supreme Court of India that ordered the conversion of Delhi's fleet of buses and taxis to run on compressed natural gas and banned the use of leaded petrol in 1998. In 2003, Delhi won the United States Department of Energy's first Clean Cities International Partner of the Year award for its bold efforts to curb air pollution and support alternative fuel initiatives. The Delhi Metro has also been credited for significantly reducing air pollutants in the city. However, according to several authors, most of these gains have been lost, especially due to stubble burning, a rise in the market share of diesel cars, and a considerable decline in bus ridership. According to CSE and System of Air Quality Weather Forecasting and Research SOFR, burning of agricultural waste in nearby Punjab, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh regions results in severe intensification of smog over Delhi. The state government of Uttar Pradesh is considering imposing a ban on crop burning to reduce pollution in Delhi NCR and an environmental panel has appealed to India's Supreme Court to impose a 30% cess on diesel cars. The Circles of Sustainability Assessment of Delhi gives a marginally more favourable impression of the ecological sustainability of the city only because it is based on a more comprehensive series of measures than only air pollution. Part of the reason that the city remains assessed at basic sustainability is because of the low resource use and carbon emissions of its poorer neighbourhoods. Topic civic administration As of July 2007, the National Capital Territory of Delhi comprises nine districts, 27 tehsils, 59 census towns, 300 villages, and three statutory towns, the Municipal Corporation of Delhi MCD 1,397.3 square kilometers or 540 square miles, the New Delhi Municipal Council NDMC 42.7 square kilometers or 16 square miles and the Delhi Cantonment Board DCB 43 square kilometers or 17 square miles since the trifurcation of the DMC at the start of 2012 Delhi has been run by five local municipal corporations the North Delhi South Delhi and East Delhi Municipal Corporations the New Delhi Municipal Council and Delhi Cantonment Board in July of that year, shortly after the MCD trifurcation, the Delhi government increased the number of districts in Delhi from 9 to 11. Delhi Civic Administration was ranked 5th out of 21 cities for best governance and administrative practices in India in 2014. It scored 3.6 on 10 compared to the national average of 3.3. DELHI houses the Supreme Court of India and the regional Delhi High Court along with the Small Causes Court for Civil Cases, the Magistrate Court and the Sessions Court for Criminal Cases has jurisdiction over Delhi. The city is administratively divided into 11 police zones which are subdivided into 95 local police stations. Government and politics As a first-level administrative division, the National Capital Territory of Delhi has its own Legislative Assembly, Lieutenant Governor, Council of Ministers and Chief Minister. Members of the Legislative Assembly are directly elected from territorial constituencies in the NCT. The Legislative Assembly was abolished in 1956, after which direct federal control was implemented until it was re-established in 1993. The Municipal Corporation handles civic administration for the city as part of the Panchayati Raj Act. The Government of India and the Government of National Capital Territory of Delhi jointly administer New Delhi, where both bodies are located. The Parliament of India, the Rashtrapati Bhavan Presidential Palace, Cabinet Secretariat and the Supreme Court of India are located in the Municipal District of New Delhi. There are 70 Assembly constituencies and 7 Lok Sabha Indian Parliament's lower house constituencies in Delhi. The Indian National Congress, Congress formed all the governments in Delhi until the 1990s, when the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP, led by Maidan Lal Karana, came to power. 
In 1998, the Congress returned to power under the leadership of Sheila Dixit, who was subsequently re-elected for three consecutive terms. But in 2013, the Congress was ousted from power by the newly formed AAM Admi Party AAP, led by Arvind Kejriwal forming the government with outside support from the Congress. However, that government was short-lived, collapsing only after 49 days. Delhi was then under President's rule until February 2015. On 10 February 2015, the AAM Admi Party returned to power after a landslide victory, winning 67 out of the 70 seats in the Delhi Legislative Assembly. Since 2011, Delhi has three municipal bodies SDMC having jurisdiction over South and West Delhi areas, including Mahipalpur, Rajori Garden, Janakpuri, Hari Nagar, Tilak Nagar, Dwarka, Jungpura, Greater Kalash, RK Puram, Malvya Nagar, Kalkaji, Ambedkar Nagar, and Badarpur. NDMC has jurisdiction over areas such as Badli, Rithila, Bawana, Karari, Mangalpuri, Tri Nagar, Model Town, Sadar Bazar, Chandni Chowk, Matia Mahal, Karel Bagh, Moti Nagar. EDMC has jurisdiction over areas such as Patparganj, Khanli, Laxmi Nagar, Simapuri, Gonda, Karawal Nagar, Babarpur and Shahadrain 2017 BJP became victorious in all the three corporations. Economy Delhi is the largest commercial centre in northern India. As of 2016 recent estimates of the economy of the Delhi urban area have ranged from $167 to $370 billion PPP metro GDP ranking it either the most or second most productive metro area of India. The nominal GSDP of the NCT of Delhi for 2016-17 was estimated at 6224 billion rupees, 87 billion dollars, 13% higher than in 2015-16 as per the Economic Survey of Delhi 2005-2006. The tertiary sector contributes 70.95% of Delhi's gross SDP followed by secondary and primary sectors with 25.20% and 3.85% contributions respectively. Delhi's workforce constitutes 32.82% of the population, and increased by 52.52% between 1991 and 2001. Delhi's unemployment rate decreased from 12.57% in 1999-2000 to 4.63% in 2003. In December 2004, 636,000 people were registered with various employment exchange programs in Delhi. In 2001 the total workforce in national and state governments and the quasi-government sector was 620,000, and the private sector employed 219,000. Key service industries are information technology, telecommunications, hotels, banking, media and tourism. Construction, power, health and community services and real estate are also important to the city's economy. Delhi has one of India's largest and fastest growing retail industries. Manufacturing also grew considerably as consumer goods companies established manufacturing units and headquarters in the city. Delhi's large consumer market and the availability of skilled labor has also attracted foreign investment. In 2001, the manufacturing sector employed 1,440,000 workers and the city had 129,000 industrial units. Topic utility services Delhi's municipal water supply is managed by the Delhi Jal Board DJB. As of June 2005, it supplied 650 million gallons per day MGD, whereas the estimated consumption requirement is 963 MGD. The shortfall is met by private and public tube wells and hand pumps. At 240 MGD, the Bakra storage is DJB's largest water source, followed by the Yamuna and Ganges rivers. Delhi's groundwater level is falling and its population density is increasing, so residents often encounter acute water shortage. Research on Delhi suggests that up to half of the city's water use is unofficial groundwater. In Delhi, daily domestic solid waste production is 8,000 tons, which is dumped at three landfill locations by MCD. The daily domestic waste water production is 470 mgd and industrial waste water is 70 mgd. A large portion of the sewage flows untreated into the Yamuna River. The city's electricity consumption is about 1,265 kilowatt-hours per capita, but the actual demand is higher. 
In Delhi power distribution is managed by Tata Power Distribution and BSES Yamuna and Rajdhani since 2002. The Delhi Fire Service runs 43 fire stations that attend about 15,000 fire and rescue calls per year. The state-owned Mahanagar Telephone Nigam Limited and private enterprises such as Vodafone, Airtel, Idea Cellular, Reliance Infocom, Aircel, Reliance Geo and Tata Docomo provide telephone and cell phone services to the city. Cellular coverage is available in GSM, CDMA, 3G and 4G. Transport. Air Indira Gandhi International Airport, situated to the southwest of Delhi, is the main gateway for the city's domestic and international civilian air traffic. In 2015–16, the airport handled more than 48 million passengers, making it the busiest airport in India and South Asia. Terminal 3, which cost 96.8 billion rupees $1 billion to construct between 2007 and 2010, handles an additional 37 million passengers annually. The Delhi Flying Club, established in 1928 with two de Havilland Moth aircraft named Delhi and Roshanara, was based at Safdarjing Airport, which started operations in 1929, when it was the Delhi's only airport and the second in India. The airport functioned until 2001, however, in January 2002 the government closed the airport for flying activities because of security concerns following the New York attacks in September 2001. Since then, the club only carries out aircraft maintenance courses and is used for helicopter rides to Indira Gandhi International Airport for VIP including the President and the Prime Minister. A second airport open for commercial flights has been suggested either by expansion of Meerut Airport or construction of a new airport in Greater Noida. The Taj International Airport project in Jewar has been approved by the Uttar Pradesh government. Road Delhi has the highest road density of 2,103 km, 100 square km in India. It is connected to other parts of India by five national highways, NH44, 2, 48, 9 and 24. The city's road network is maintained by MCD, NDMC, Delhi Cantonment Board, Public Works Department PWD, and Delhi Development Authority. Buses are the most popular means of road transport catering to about 60% of Delhi's total demand. Delhi has one of India's largest bus transport systems. In 1998, the Supreme Court of India ruled that all public transport vehicles in Delhi must be fueled by compressed natural gas CNG to tackle increasing vehicular pollution. The state-owned Delhi Transport Corporation DTC is a major bus service provider which operates the world's largest fleet of CNG-fueled buses. In addition, cluster scheme buses are operated by Delhi Integrated Multimodal Transit System DIMTS with the participation of private concessionaires and DTC. In December 2017, the DTC and cluster buses carried over 4.19 million passengers per day. Kashmiri Gate ISBT, Anand Vihar ISBT and Sarai Kale Khan ISBT are the main bus terminals for outstation buses plying to neighbouring states. Delhi's rapid rate of economic development and population growth has resulted in an increasing demand for transport, creating excessive pressure on the city's transport infrastructure. To meet the transport demand, the state and union government constructed a mass rapid transit system, including the Delhi Metro. Delhi Bus Rapid Transit System runs between Ambedkar Nagar and Delhi Gate. Personal vehicles especially cars also form a major chunk of vehicles plying on Delhi roads. As of 2007, private vehicles account for 30% of the total demand for transport. Delhi has the highest number of registered cars compared to any other metropolitan city in India. Taxis, auto rickshaws, and cycle rickshaws also ply on Delhi roads in large numbers. As of 2008, the number of vehicles in the metropolitan region, Delhi NCR, was 11.2 million, 11 million. In 2008, there were 85 cars in Delhi for every 1,000 of its residents. 
In 2017, the number of vehicles in Delhi city alone crossed 1 crore mark with the Transport Department of Delhi government putting the total number of registered vehicles at 1, 05, 67,712 until May 25 of the year. Important roads in Delhi Some roads and expressways serve as important pillars of Delhi's road infrastructure. The Inner Ring Road is one of the most important state highways in Delhi. It is a 51 km long circular road which connects important areas in Delhi. Owing to more than two dozen grade separators, flyovers, the road is almost signal-free. The Outer Ring Road is another major artery in Delhi that links far-flung areas of Delhi. The Delhi Noida Direct Flyway or DND Flyway is an eight-laned access controlled tolled expressway which connects Delhi to Noida an important satellite city of Uttar Pradesh. The Delhi Gurgaon Expressway is a 28 km 17 miles expressway connecting Delhi to Gurgaon, an important satellite city of Haryana. The Delhi Faridabad Skyway is controlled tolled expressway which connects Delhi to Faridabad, an important satellite city of Haryana. National highways passing through Delhi Delhi is connected by road to various parts of the country through several national highways. National Highway 44 NH44 The longest national highway starts from Srinagar and terminates in Kanyakumari National Highway 2 NH2 Commonly referred as Delhi Kolkata Road that runs through the states of Delhi, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand and West Bengal. National Highway 8 NH8 Connects the Indian capital city of New Delhi with the Indian financial capital city of Mumbai. National Highway 9 NH9 originates at Malat in Punjab and ends at Ascot in Uttarakhand. National Highway 24 NH24 connects the national capital Delhi to Uttar Pradesh state capital Lucknow running 438 kilometers 272 miles in length. Topic: <laughs> Railway <laughs> Delhi is a major junction in the Indian Railway Network and is the headquarters of the Northern Railway. The main railway stations are New Delhi, Old Delhi, Hazrat Nizamuddin, Anand Vihar, Delhi Sarai Rohila and Delhi Kant. The Delhi Metro, a mass rapid transit system built and operated by Delhi Metro Rail Corporation DMRC, serves many parts of Delhi and the neighbouring cities Faridabad, Gurgaon, Noida and Ghaziabad. As of August 2018, the metro consists of eight operational lines with a total length of 296 kilometers, 184 miles, and 214 stations, and several other lines are under construction. The phase 1 was built at a cost of 2.3 billion dollars and the phase 2 was expected to cost an additional 216 billion rupees, 3 billion dollars. Phase 2 has a total length of 128 kilometers and was completed by 2010. Delhi Metro completed 10 years of operation on 25 December 2012. It carries millions of passengers every day. In addition to the Delhi Metro, a suburban railway, the Delhi Suburban Railway exists. Metro The Delhi Metro is a rapid transit system serving Delhi, Faridabad, Gurgaon, Noida and Ghaziabad in the national capital region of India. Delhi Metro is the world's 10th largest metro system in terms of length. Delhi Metro was India's second modern public transportation system, which has revolutionized travel by providing a fast, reliable, safe, and comfortable means of transport. The network consists of 6 lines with a total length of 296 kilometers, 184 miles, with 214 stations, which are a mix of underground, at grade and elevated stations. All stations have escalators, lifts, and tactile tiles to guide the visually impaired from station entrances to trains. There are 18 designated parking sites at metro stations to further encourage use of the system. In March 2010, DMRC partnered with Google India through Google Transit to provide train schedule and route information to mobile devices with Google Maps. It has a combination of elevated, at grade, and underground lines, and uses both broad gauge and standard gauge rolling stock. Four types of rolling stock are used, Mitsubishi Rotom Broad Gauge, Bombardier Movia, Mitsubishi Rotom Standard Gauge, and CAF Bisane Standard Gauge. 
The Phase 1 of Delhi Metro was built at a cost of $2.3 billion and the Phase 2 was expected to cost an additional Rs 216 billion rupees $3 billion. Phase 2 has a total length of 128 kilometers and was completed by 2010. Delhi Metro completed 10 years of operation on the 25th of December 2012. It carries millions of passengers every day. Delhi Metro is being built and operated by the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation Limited (DMRC), a state-owned company with equal equity participation from Government of India and Government of National Capital Territory of Delhi. However, the organization is under the administrative control of Ministry of Urban Development, Government of India. Besides construction and operation of Delhi Metro, DMRC is also involved in the planning and implementation of Metro Rail, Monorail, and high-speed rail projects in India and providing consultancy services to other metro projects in the country as well as abroad. The Delhi Metro project was spearheaded by Padma Vibhushan E. Sridharan, the managing director of DMRC and popularly known as the Metro Man of India. He famously resigned from DMRC taking moral responsibility for a metro bridge collapse, which took five lives. Sridharan was awarded the prestigious Legion of Honor by the French government for his contribution to Delhi Metro. Metro services are being extended to important hubs in the cities that are close to offices, colleges, and tourist spots. This will facilitate easy conveyance for the citizens, who otherwise have to rely on public buses that are heavily crowded and are often stuck in traffic jams. Regional Rapid Transit System RRTS. The 08 RRTS corridors have been proposed by National Capital Region Planning Board to facilitate the people traveling from nearby cities in NCR to Delhi. The three main corridors in the first phase are as follows Delhi – Alwar via Gurugram 180.50 km Delhi – Panipat via Sonipat 111 km Delhi – Meerut via Ghaziabad 92.05 km Remaining five corridors are also approved by National Capital Region Planning Board but are planned in the second phase. <laughs> Demographics According to the 2011 Census of India, the population of NCT of Delhi is 16,753,235. The corresponding population density was 11,297 persons per square kilometre with a sex ratio of 866 women per 1,000 men, and a literacy rate of 86.34%. In 2004, the birth rate, death rate and infant mortality rate per 1,000 population were 20.03, 5.59 and 13.08, respectively. In 2001, the population of Delhi increased by 285,000 as a result of migration and by 215,000 as a result of natural population growth, which made Delhi one of the fastest growing cities in the world. Dwarka Sub-City, Asia's largest planned residential area, is located within the National Capital Territory of Delhi. Urban expansion has resulted in Delhi's urban area now being considered as extending beyond the NCT boundaries to incorporate the towns and cities of neighboring states including Gurgaon and Faridabad of Haryana, and Ghaziabad and Noida of Uttar Pradesh, the total population of which is estimated by the United Nations at over 26 million. According to the UN this makes Delhi urban area the world's second largest, after Tokyo, although Demographia declares the Jakarta urban area to be the second largest. The 2011 census provided two figures for urban area population, 16,314,838 within the NCT boundary, and 21,753,486 for the extended urban area. The 2021 regional plan released by the Government of India renamed the Extended Urban Area from Delhi Metropolitan Area DMA as defined by the 2001 plan to Central National Capital Region CNCR. Religion Religion in Delhi 
Hinduism is Delhi's predominant religious faith, with 81.68% of Delhi's population, followed by Islam 12.86%, Sikhism 3.40%, Jainism 0.99%, Christianity 0.87%, and Buddhism 0.11%. Other minority religions include Zoroastrianism, Baha'ism and Judaism. Languages According to the 50th Report of the Commissioner for Linguistic Minorities in India, which was submitted in 2014, Hindi is Delhi's most spoken language, with 80.94% speakers, followed by Punjabi 7.14%, Urdu 6.31%, and Bengali 1.50%. 4.11% of the Delhites speak other languages. Hindi is also the official language of Delhi, while Urdu and Punjabi have been declared as additional official languages. According to the Directorate of Education, GNCTD the following languages are taught in schools in Delhi under the three-language formula. First language Hindi Urdu English second language English third language Urdu Punjabi Bengali Sindhi Tamil Telugu Malayalam Kannada Gujarati Marathi Arabic Persian Sanskrit Topic <inaudible> Slums Around 49% of the population of Delhi lives in slums and unauthorized colonies without any civic amenities Majority of the slums have inadequate provisions to the basic facilities and according to a DUSIB report almost 22% of the people do open defecation Culture Delhi's culture has been influenced by its lengthy history and historic association as the capital of India, although a strong Punjabi influence can be seen in language, dress and cuisine brought by the large number of refugees who came following the partition in 1947 the recent migration from other parts of India has made it a melting pot. This is exemplified by many significant monuments in the city. Delhi is also identified as the location of Indraprastha, the ancient capital of the Pandavas. The Archaeological Survey of India recognizes 1,200 heritage buildings and 175 monuments as national heritage sites. In the Old City, the Mughals and the Turkic rulers constructed several architecturally significant buildings, such as the Jama Masjid India's largest mosque built in 1656 and the Red Fort. Three World Heritage Sites the Red Fort, Qutub Minar and Humayun's tomb, are located in Delhi. Other monuments include the India Gate, the Jantar Mantar, an 18th century astronomical observatory, and the Purana Kila, a 16th century fortress. The Laxminarayan Temple, Akshardham Temple, Gurudwara Bangla Sahib, the Baha'i Lotus Temple and the Iskand Temple are examples of modern architecture. Raj Ghat and associated memorials houses memorials of Mahatma Gandhi and other notable personalities. New Delhi houses several government buildings and official residences reminiscent of British colonial architecture, including the Rashtrapati Bhavan, the Secretariat, Rajput, the Parliament of India and Vijay Chowk. Safdaryung's tomb is an example of the Mughal garden style. Some regal havelis palatial residences are in the old city. Lotus Temple is a Baha'i house of worship completed in 1986. Notable for its flower-like shape, it serves as the mother temple of the Indian subcontinent and has become a prominent attraction in the city. The Lotus Temple has won numerous architectural awards and been featured in hundreds of newspaper and magazine articles. Like all other Baha'i houses of worship, is open to all regardless of religion, or any other distinction, as emphasized in Baha'i texts. The Baha'i laws emphasize that the spirit of the house of worship be that it is a gathering place where people of all religions may worship God without denominational restrictions. The Baha'i laws also stipulate that only the holy scriptures of the Baha'i faith and other religions can be read or chanted inside in any language, while readings and prayers can be set to music by choirs, no musical instruments can be played inside. Furthermore, no sermons can be delivered, and there can be no ritualistic ceremonies practiced. The National Museum and National Gallery of Modern Art are some of the largest museums in the country. 
Other museums in Delhi include the National Museum of Natural History, National Rail Museum and National Philatelic Museum. Chandni Chowk, a 17th-century market, is one of the most popular shopping areas in Delhi for jewellery and zari saris. Delhi's arts and crafts include, zardozi, an embroidery done with gold thread, and minakari, the art of enameling. Festivals Delhi's association and geographic proximity to the capital, New Delhi, has amplified the importance of national events and holidays like Republic Day, Independence Day and Gandhi Janti. On Independence Day, the Prime Minister addresses the nation from the Red Fort. Most Delhiites celebrate the day by flying kites, which are considered a symbol of freedom. The Republic Day Parade is a large cultural and military parade showcasing India's cultural diversity and military strength. Over the centuries, Delhi has become known for its composite culture, and a festival that symbolizes this is the Fool Walan Ki Ser, which takes place in September. Flowers and Panki fans embroidered with flowers are offered to the shrine of the 13th century Sufi saint Khwaja Bakhtiar Khaki and the Yagmaya Temple, both situated in Meroli. Religious festivals include Diwali, the festival of lights, Mahavir Jandi, Guru Nanak's birthday, Ruksha Bundan, Durga Puja, Holi, Lori, Choth, Krishna Janmastami, Maha Shivratri, Eid ul Fitr, Moharam, and Buddha Jandi. The Kudab festival is a cultural event during which performances of musicians and dancers from all over India are showcased at night, with the Kudab Manar as a backdrop. Other events such as Kite Flying Festival, International Mango Festival and Vasant Panchami the Spring Festival are held every year in Delhi. The Auto Expo, Asia's largest auto show, is held in Delhi biennially. The New Delhi World Book Fair, held biennially at the Pragati Maidan, is the second largest exhibition of books in the world. Delhi is often regarded as the book capital of India because of high readership. India International Trade Fair IITF, organized by ITPO is the biggest cultural and shopping fair of Delhi which takes place in November each year and is visited by more than 15 lakh people. Cuisine <coughs> 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 As India's national capital and centuries-old Mughal capital, Delhi influenced the food habits of its residents and is where Mughlai cuisine originated. Along with Indian cuisine, a variety of international cuisines are popular among the residents. The dearth of food habits among the city's residents created a unique style of cooking which became popular throughout the world, with dishes such as kebab, biryani, tandoori. The city's classic dishes include butter chicken, dal makhani, shahi paneer, aloo chaat, chaat, dahi balas, kachori, gol gap, samosa, chole bature, chole kulch, gulab jamun, jalebi, and lassi. The fast living habits of Delhi's people has motivated the growth of street food outlets. A trend of dining at local dabas is popular among the residents. High profile restaurants have gained popularity in recent years. Among the popular restaurants are the Karim Hotel, the Punjab Grill, and Bukhara. The Gali Paranthe Wali the street of fried bread is a street in Chandni Chowk, particularly for food eateries since the 1870s. Almost the entire street is occupied by fast food stalls or street vendors. It has nearly become a tradition that almost every Prime Minister of India has visited the street to eat paratha at least once. Other Indian cuisines are also available in this area even though the street specializes in North Indian food. Tourism According to Euromonitor International, Delhi ranked as 28th most visited city in the world and first in India by foreign visitors in 2015. There are numerous tourist attractions in Delhi, both historic and modern. The three UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Delhi, Qutb Complex, Red Fort and Humayun's Tomb are among the finest examples of Indo-Islamic architecture. Another prominent landmark of Delhi is India Gate, a 1931-built war memorial to soldiers of British Indian Army who died during First World War. Delhi has several famous places of worship of various religions. One of the largest Hindu temple complexes in the world, Akshardham is a major tourist attraction in the city. 
Other famous religious sites include Lal Mandir, Laxminarayan Temple, Gurudwara Bangla Sahib, Lotus Temple, Jama Masjid and Iskan Temple. Delhi is also a hub for shopping of all kinds. Connaught Place, Chandni Chowk, Sarojini Nagar, Khan Market and Dili Hot are some of the major retail markets in Delhi. Major shopping malls include Select CityWalk, DLF Promenade, DLF Emporio, Metro Walk and Ansel Plaza. Education Private schools in Delhi — which use either English or Hindi as the language of instruction — are affiliated to one of three administering bodies, the Council for the Indian School Certificate Examinations CISCE, the Central Board for Secondary Education CBSE, or the National Institute of Open Schooling NIOS. In 2004–05, approximately 15.29 lakh 1.529 million students were enrolled in primary schools, 8.22 lakh 0.822 million in middle schools and 6.69 lakh 0.669 million in secondary schools across Delhi. Female students represented 49% of the total enrollment. The same year, the Delhi government spent between 1.58% and 1.95% of its gross state domestic product on education. Schools and higher educational institutions in Delhi are administered either by the Directorate of Education, the NCT government, or private organizations. In 2006, Delhi had 165 colleges, five medical colleges, and eight engineering colleges, seven major universities, and nine deemed universities. The premier management colleges of Delhi, such as Faculty of Management Studies (Delhi) and Indian Institute of Foreign Trade, rank the best in India. All India Institute of Medical Sciences Delhi is a premier medical school for treatment and research. National Law University, Delhi is a prominent law school and is affiliated to the Bar Council of India. Delhi Technological University formerly Delhi College of Engineering, Indraprastha Institute of Information Technology, Nataji Subhas Institute of Technology, Guru Gobind Singh Indraprastha University and National Law University, Delhi are the only state universities. University of Delhi, Jawaharlal Nehru University and Jamia Millia Islamia are the central universities, and Indira Gandhi National Open University is for distance education. As of 2008, about 16% of all Delhi residents possessed at least a college graduate degree. Media As the capital of India, Delhi is the focus of political reportage, including regular television broadcasts of parliament sessions. Many national media agencies, including the state-owned Press Trust of India, Media Trust of India and Doordarshan, is based in the city. Television programming includes two free terrestrial television channels offered by Doordarshan, and several Hindi, English, and regional language cable channels offered by multi-system operators. Satellite television has yet to gain a large quantity of subscribers in the city. Print journalism remains a popular news medium in Delhi. The city's Hindi newspapers include Nabarat Times, Hindustan Dainik, Punjab Kesari, Pavitra Bharat, Dainik Jagran, Dainik Bhaskar, Amar Uhala, and Dainik Desbandu. Amongst the English language newspapers, the Hindustan Times, with a daily circulation of over a million copies, is the single largest daily. Other major English newspapers include Times of India, The Hindu, Indian Express, Business Standard, The Pioneer, The Statesman, and The Asian Age. Regional language newspapers include the Malayalam daily Malayala Manorama and the Tamil dailies Dina Malar and Dinakaran. Radio is a less popular mass medium in Delhi, although FM radio has gained popularity since the inauguration of several new stations in 2006. A number of state-owned and private radio stations broadcast from Delhi. Topic: Sports. Delhi has hosted many major international sporting events, including the first and also the ninth Asian Games, the 2010 Hockey World Cup, the 2010 Commonwealth Games, and the 2011 Cricket World Cup. Delhi lost bidding for the 2014 Asian Games, and considered making a bid for the 2020 Summer Olympics. However, Sports Minister Manohar Singh Gill later stated that funding infrastructure would come before a 2020 bid. There are indications of a possible 2028 bid. 
The 2010 Commonwealth Games, which ran from 3 to 14 October 2010, was one of the largest sports event held in India. The opening ceremony of the 2010 Commonwealth Games was held at the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, the main stadium of the event, in New Delhi at 7 p.m. Indian Standard Time on 3 October 2010. The ceremony featured over 8,000 performers and lasted for two and a half hours. It is estimated that 3.5 billion rupees $49 million were spent to produce the ceremony. Events took place at 12 competition venues. 20 training venues were used in the games, including seven venues within Delhi University. The rugby stadium in Delhi University North Campus hosted rugby games for Commonwealth Games. The mess left behind after the Commonwealth Games prompted Prime Minister Manmohan Singh to replace Sports and Youth Affairs Minister Manohar Singh Gill with a J. Macon in the 19 January 2011 cabinet reshuffle. Cricket and football are the most popular sports in Delhi. There are several cricket grounds, or maidens, located across the city. The Faraz Shah Kotla ground known commonly as the Kotla is one of the oldest cricket grounds in India and is a venue for international cricket matches. It is the home ground of the Delhi cricket team, which represents the city in the Ranji Trophy, the premier Indian domestic first-class cricket championship. The Delhi cricket team has produced several world-class international cricketers such as Virender Sehwag, Virat Kohli, Gautam Gambar, Maidan Lal, Chetan Chohan, Ashant Sharma and Bishan Singh Bedi to name a few. The Railways and Services cricket teams in the Ranji Trophy also play their home matches in Delhi, in the Karnail Singh Stadium and the Harbak Singh Stadium, respectively. The city is also home to the Indian Premier League team Delhi Daredevils, who play their home matches at the Kotla. Ambedkar Stadium, a football stadium in Delhi which holds 21,000 people, was the venue for the Indian football team's World Cup qualifier against UAE on 28 July 2012. Delhi hosted the Nehru Cup in 2007 and 2009, in both of which India defeated Syria 1-0. In the Elite Football League of India, Delhi's first professional American football franchise, the Delhi Defenders played its first season in Pune. Bud International Circuit in Greater Noida, a suburb of Delhi, formerly hosted the Formula One Indian Grand Prix. The Indira Gandhi Arena is also in Delhi. Delhi is a member of the Asian Network of Major Cities 21. Current regional and professional sports teams from Delhi Former regional and professional sports teams from Delhi Notable people International relations Sister cities New York City, United States London, United Kingdom Moscow, Russia Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia Chicago, Illinois, United States Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia Tokyo, Japan Seoul, South Korea Fukuoka, Japan Kabul, Afghanistan proposed 2017 Partnerships Yerevan, Armenia See also List of tourist attractions in Delhi List of twin towns and sister cities in India